the Coach Kent Murphy podcast. I'm your host, Kent Murphy. I got uh, Max Muncy on here today. He decided to drop by. He hit some dingers last year, so I said he could. How you doing, Max? I'm doing good, man. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming. Hey, uh, I was going through your stats, and I think I pinpointed where you started watching my videos. I think I got it down. Because like 2015, 2016, you hit like three home runs and then two homers. And then you went and started watching my videos in 2017. And sure enough, you came out with 35 the last two years. Is that about right? <laughs> yeah, that's probably about right. Uh, I'm sure there's less bun attempts in there too. Well, yeah, there better be. There better be no bun attempts. I already got, I already got a couple of guys that, to promise they'll never bunt again. So if you <laughs> want to make that promise on my show, now's the time. I think you got me in Cleveland last year, so. I did. I did. I got saw you in the parade. Yeah. At, at the uh, at the All Star game. Yeah, you had a majestic pose going on on the sidewalk there. Yeah, I was feeling. I was feeling good. I was feeling myself that day. <laughs> I was out there. Saw a bunch of pitchers drop by that I could, you know, hit dingers off of. I got excited. Let them know about it too, huh? Yeah. How many uh, how many dingers do you think you're gonna hit this year when they when they finally start the season? I have no idea. I mean, because I don't, I don't know how many games we're going to play. I don't know if we're yeah. going to play 80, we're going to play 106. I have no idea. Well, I mean, if you play 80 games, I think you could at least get 70. <laughs> Pretty lofty, but I like it. I you like just got to commit to it, bro. I mean, you got you to gotta go in there, you know, take out a second mortgage on that batter's box, get comfy, and, and uh, you know, let it fly, baby. Well, I'll tell you what, it could be a possibility if we end up playing in Arizona with how hot it's going to be and how, how uh, good the ball's going to travel. So you're from, the, uh, you're from the great state of Texas, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so everything's bigger in Texas except batting averages, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, batting averages are hard now, but they don't care about them anymore. So. Yeah, nobody cares. Did you ever play in the uh, College World Series when you were at Baylor? No, we made it to the Super Regionals. That was as far as we got. You should have you should have gone farther, man. You got metal bats. I mean, it should have been thirty-eight to nothing every game, all day. Yeah, well, they the other team have metal bats too. Yeah, well, should have tried harder. You play uh, you play a bunch of positions. Which one's your favorite? I play in second the most. Um, I just I have the most fun playing second. Uh, first base, I'm probably the most familiar familiar with, so it comes the easiest just because I played the most games there. I hate third. Uh, I don't like playing third. Um, Ball gets hit, hit way too hard over there. Uh, it's always a weird – it's like top spin, or it's a, it's never a normal ground ball, so it just you don't feel comfortable, and uh, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, so you'd rather just, like, stand over at second and make the easiest throw in all of hit baseball history. Absolutely. You know, just, yeah. just take it easy. I, like, I think it's a good idea because that saves your dinger energy. You know what I mean? You don't have to waste a whole lot of energy yeah, being good blow, at defense. Yeah. I'm not trying to blow my arm out making a throw. Yeah, I mean, it's not, that's not any fun. Nobody came there to watch people field ground balls. Hey, man, you got to play in your first All-Star game last year. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a great experience. Yeah, did you get any at-bats? Yeah, I had two at-bats. Uh, ground out to second. Or actually, I think it was ground out to short. It was right up the middle, but they had the shift on. Um, and then Chapman struck me out throwing all sliders. I kept, I kept gearing up for a fastball. I needed two sliders. That's, that's the perfect time to charge right there. <laughs> it's the all-star game man they, i don't think you can i think the rules don't even apply i don't think you can get suspended at the all-star game you wouldn't have to miss no time that's a, you know what that's actually a good question i don't know what would happen if you were to charge the mound in an all-star game right. i mean i'm making the rules right now and i'm telling you you're safe you're good so if you uh, get back there i'm expecting that from you something to think about yeah yeah, no, I'm actually really curious about that now because I I don't know I actually don't know what the rules are if if something happens in an All Star game I don't know if you get suspended or what I mean I I don't know that's uh be something to, good thing to figure out. You got any catchphrases you yell out when you hit dingers? Uh no I just have uh I just have the one that uh happened in San Francisco that's it. Yeah we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about that <laughs> uh, I'm hanging on to it. Uh. What's the what's the uh, the home run you remember the most? Uh, I mean the the World Series home run, the walk off. Muncy flies one in the air to left center, back at the wall, and it's gone. It's over, Muncy. That was like the 18th inning too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was about 12 hours into the game. Yeah, you probably should have done that like nine innings earlier. Yeah, hey, I tried, but <laughs> it was a waste of time, man. Hey man, we got to uh, 
we got to pay for this episode, so we got to read some ads now. Today's episode of the Kent Murphy Podcast is brought to you by Silent Cans. Silent Cans are revolutionary new trash cans that don't produce any sound, even if you bang on them. The secret is in the material. Each can is custom made with the fabric of Astros jerseys and Astro turf to soften and eliminate all sound. Silent Cans. Because even though we're quarantined and can't play right now, we didn't forget. <laughs> Good company. Today's episode of the Kent Murphy Podcast is brought to you by Dingers, the only real hit in baseball. Doubles, doubles are cool if you're into not being a winner. Singles are basically safe outs. And triples are only for people that think running is fun. It ain't. Jogging is, though. It gives you more time to yell at everyone as you round the bases. Dingers. When your coach gives you the sign, ignore it and swing for the fences. Today's episode of the Kent Murphy Podcast is also brought to you by Water One Canoes. If you're like me, you hit one baseball into the bay and act like it is the greatest achievement ever, even though that fence is only about 200 feet from home. So now you have to go get that ball out of the ocean. But how? Worry no more. Water One Canoes will pick up the pitcher and make him fish that measly 300-foot dinger out of the bay himself. Water One Canoes, there for when you need to celebrate underwhelming accomplishment. Muncie hits this ball to deep right field. Forget about it. Muncie with a splash hit. You know a little something about hitting ball in the bay, don't you? Yeah. That was a, that was a nice shot you got there. That was a nice – I mean, you popped that baby. And you watched that like you were seeing, like, you know, Jurassic Park for the first time. Just really <laughs> admire it. I respect hey. it, man. Hell, I think you should do it every time you hit a home run. That's what I do. You know, what's funny about it is uh, uh, as far as, you know, pimping home runs, that was probably one of the least I've ever pimped a, a pole side homer. What's the best one you ever did? Uh, I had a good one for uh, against Toronto last year for um, for a walk off. Muncie, high fly ball, right center field. Forget about it. And then uh, I had a, I have a couple good ones in Colorado. The one in the Bay, though, like Bumgarner got mad. He wasn't happy with you. No, he was not happy at all. Hey, it was never anything personal with him. It was just uh, you know just... I was excited to hit a home run, and he was he was pissed off. He gave up one. That's all it was. What are you doing for quarantine? What's, uh, what's like, your favorite activity for quarantine so far? Uh, I don't know. I guess watch, uh, watch TV shows. Uh, wait, nah, there's not really a whole lot to do. You know, it's kind of wake up, uh, find a way to get a workout in, and then, uh, you know, just sit there and, and enjoy time with the family, with, uh, with, with my dog and my cat, and uh, uh, just what, pass the time pretty much. Fair enough. What shows are you watching? Ozark, season three. Oh, man, I just finished that one. I just finished that one. I think, I think if it was me, I mean, I'd I'd probably have all the money laundered already, and then and, the, and then the the cartel would be like, well, let's just start a baseball team now that we're done with that. I wouldn't have started a casino. I'd have started a baseball team, starring me, and I would just you know, I mean, that'd have brought in hell. We could have laundered hundreds of millions right there on day one with the crowd I would have drawn. Yeah, they could have just paid you, and then you give all the money right back. I mean, by that point, I'd already made them enough money. I'd probably be like, they probably would have just made me the number one. And then Omar <laughs> would have been like, you know what, just have it. And I'd be like, well, I don't, you know, I'm going to keep playing baseball, I guess. You hitting any dingers, like, out in the yard or anything? No, I've been kind of taking the time off just because uh, with this, with not knowing when the season's going to start, trying to keep myself fresh. Um, you know, it's just – once we, once we start getting an idea, things will get ramp up really quickly, though. Yeah, you doing any cooking? You making a no, bunch no. of cheese dogs? No, no, we've uh, uh, we've been trying to help out the you know local restaurants and stuff, so we we order a lot of food. Yeah, that's what we've been doing here too. Chucky owns a restaurant, so we've been you know we've been going over there and doing that, but he's in jail again, so probably gonna get shut down. That's too bad. Yeah. Well, hey man, we gotta get out of here. I'd like to thank you for stopping by. I appreciate yeah, it, man. Hope you guys get me. to play this year, and uh, you, you can uh, get out there and play some baseball for your fans. I know they're waiting to see it, brother. Yeah, well, thanks for having me, man. Hopefully uh, hopefully, we'll get some uh, some good news here before too long. The season's going to get going, and, uh, uh, you know, it'll be exciting for everyone. I know I know everyone's missing baseball right now, including us, the players. So, oh, yeah. Uh, we're, we're looking forward to getting it going. Yep, we'll get it. We'll get it out there one way or the other, man. You got to hit some dingers. I'm calling seventy this year. You can uh, verify that. it right there. Yeah, brother. We'll see you next time, man. Thanks, Max.
All right, see you. I got Kevin Flowicki with me today. How you doing, Kevin? I'm doing great, man. How are you? Man, I'm doing. I'm doing pretty well, man. I, uh, you know, I was doing some research. I saw you. Uh, you, you went to. Uh, you're a boilermaker. You went over to Purdue too, huh? I did. I did. Are you a Purdue guy? Or are you an are you uh, no, well, I'm neither, really. Neither? I, uh, okay. No. Well, I, uh, as long as you're I, not IU, that's fine with me. Yeah. I have spent some time over at Harry's Chocolate Shop, though. Oh, out yeah. There in Lafayette. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, uh, you ever you ever get all uh, get all wrecked over there at Harry's? I got wrecked at every single – all three of those bars we got at Purdue, I got wrecked at on the yeah. daily. So, those, those, uh, those bars treat me right. Treat yeah, us my all dad, right. My dad used to wonder why I was buying so much chocolate. When I go over there, I just told yeah, him I had a, a big old spot. sweet tooth. Yeah, that's a fun, that's a fun spot. Yeah, you ever go? To, you ever go over to Triple X and, and pound some breakfast about five a.m.? Uh, I've done it a few times. Yeah, yeah. But it's even better when you're when you're hung over the next morning and you you don't know what to eat and you oh, go strolling best. in there the next morning yeah. and get you right back where you need to be. So I know that you're a catcher, but I got this picture back here because I, I read that you pitched a scoreless inning one time. A couple right? times. A couple a few times? times. Yeah, I've got I think I got uh four or five innings under my belt. My okay. first inning first inning I went one, two, three. We were playing the nationals actually. Uh I forget what year it was, but we were playing the nationals, we were getting killed. And I actually threw two innings that game. I threw I threw two innings and uh first inning was clean. Uh, I went one, two, three, all fly outs to the warning track, and then second inning came about and I uh I gave up three homers, three dingers, I guess you would call it. But <laughs> I was putting on a tee for him, but, uh, you know, I haven't given up a run since. So I guess that's, you know, that's something to be proud of. Hey, really. man, you got, you're on track. I mean, what's your fastball topping out at? Did you look oh, at the board? Did you see what it was up. at? Yeah. Oh, every time. Yeah, I think I, uh, it was really discouraging, honestly, because I'm like, I'll let this one rip. And it was like 82, you know, like, you know, it was really, really kind of hurt. But, yeah, that ain't hard. You, know, you ain't. You ain't Greg Maddox. You ain't painting no corners with 82. I, I, I ain't painting corners, I'll tell you that. I ain't painting any corners. But, you know, I tried to rear back a few times. I just wanted one strikeout. I haven't gotten one yet. But I worked in a curveball my last outing, and I actually broke a bat. So I, I feel pretty good about that. That's, yeah, that's, I mean, you know, I got some really good spin on that. Yeah. So I love pitching, though. It's fun. I don't like losing. I mean, it's never well, good yeah. about pitching, you know. But at the same time, if, you know, some, it's just baseball. You know how it is. We – you got games where you get out of get out of control a little bit, and you might as well just throw me up yeah. there. I'll get some yeah, I mean, breakouts. If, if they're calling Kevin in, it ain't uh, you know it ain't <laughs> it ain't a save opportunity. You know it ain't. Uh, I, I had a zero ERA last year though. I, I had two innings, two clean innings last year. Clevenger's glove actually. I saw you did the podcast with him. Uh, yeah, yeah. A few weeks ago. So Clev's glove has got zeros in it. So it's, it's, a, it's a good glove to have if you're on the mound. Sure is. Mr. He's, probably got, he's got a lot of, he probably, he probably got some hair tangles in it, too, though. Trying to pick yeah, some, some hair out of the webbing in it. So did you play catcher your whole life? Did you play other positions? Uh, I play I played catcher mainly. Um, shortstop. I always wanted to be a shortstop, but I always found the in-between hop. So that yeah. had to get shut down really quick. You know, I was just getting eaten alive. Yeah, so, catch uh, one in the nuts. That'll change your day yeah, real quick out there. Catch one in the nuts, off the jaw, off the chin. Yeah. You know, like, this, this ain't for me, so. I stuck catcher. I got bored, you know. Like I like being involved in every play, so it was perfect for me. You know, it's great. It's great. Never a dull moment. Did you ever think about hitting dingers? Oh, every have you time. About tr- have you ever thought about trying it out? Start- yeah, I always think about hitting dingers. That's what gets me in trouble when I start trying to hit dingers. It don't work out too well. <laughs> but you just got to try harder, man. You got to shake off them signs, dip your shoulder a little bit more. That's probably what it is. You got to dip your shoulder. That's Make sure it. you pull your. You got to pull your head out. So that way you can visualize where the ball is going to go. You that's I mean? it. That, yeah, that's, that's the key. It's a surefire technique. We have to uh, – this is the point of the show. We do have to uh, to pay for the episode, so i got to read some ads here. Uh, so I'm going to read one. one. And actually, I talked to my sponsors, and they got uh, – they, they were like, oh, yeah, we love Kevin. So they, i got some sponsors tailored for you. Uh, okay. But I'll start, start you off here. Today's episode of the Kent Murphy Podcast is brought to you by New Teams. Are you tired of hitting dingers every at bat and watching your teammates suck at the plate? You're out here breaking records while your team loses. Quit that stupid team and team and find new teams. New teams might suck too, but at least you'll have new records to break. Uh, my turn, right? Okay. Yep. Today's today's episode of Kent Murphy Podcast is brought to you by Pasta Night. I know a thing or two about pasta because I have a noodle for an arm. Just ask everyone that tries to steal on me. 
I never get them out, but instead of getting mad, I just invite them over to my house for pasta night. If you can't beat them, join them with pasta night. <laughs> hey, there you go. There we go. Yeah. There you go. Your pasta, it's a good, that's a little pasta night. Have some spaghetti, you know, talk about the game. Yeah, I like there you it. go. I got another I add here. Some more pasta nights. That's good. Yeah, you got to get into it, man. All right, here we go. I got another ad here. Uh, today's episode of the Kit Murphy Podcast is also brought to you by Arguing Calls. Let's face it, umpires are dumb. So before they get replaced by stupid robots, take some time and start arguing calls today. You can argue anything. Balls, strikes, how bad his eyes are, or even just tell him how dumb his family is. Don't wait till it's too late. Start arguing calls today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good company. It's one of my favorite companies, really. So you've been catching all these years. You got uh, you got some good trash talk you do behind the plate there. No, you no, ever... I like talking to guys though. I like talking. I don't talk trash though. You're not like a trash talking. talker behind the shoot, plate. Shoot. I like shooting the shit. No, I, I mean, what what good does that do? You know, I, I'm, I like talking it up, but no trash talk really. No trash. It's well, all just, love. Like, you, you just tell them like, you know, I think you look good today. No, a lot of times it's you know depending on who it is. Uh, what golf courses they've played recently. A lot of guys golf, so I love golf. So I'm like just trying to get a feel for what tracks I should play next, where we're going, and stuff like that. You know, it's just just a nice little chat. I got you. Are you a golfer? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, what's uh, what do you shoot these saying. days? It, it depends, man. Right now I'm hit or miss. It's like I can shoot an 82, I can shoot an 88, you know? It's just you ripping- uh, it's an up and down game. You ripping drivers, man? You ripping that driver down the yeah. fairway? I rip the driver, yeah, but it don't always go straight. You want to talk about hitting dangers. I can hit yeah. dangers with the driver. It just don't go straight all the time. That's, that's what I do, too. I like hooking them into the trees. I don't yell four. I don't think you should. <laughs> so, you got to put some, uh, you know, you put some excitement in the golf game. There's, you know, everybody walking around, you got to keep them on their toes. You do. You got to keep them on their toes. I like that. Who's your favorite player growing up? I was a big Cubs fan growing up, so yeah. I enjoyed uh, – I enjoyed watching Sammy Sosa. He was my guy. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, now he's, he crushed he's some dingers. A lot, but he crushed yeah. a lot of dingers. He, crushed yeah, he a lot sure of dingers, did. So I, Does anybody ever, you know, when they go out to like charge the mound, you, you got to try to stop him? Anybody ever try to fight you back there? No, actually, I haven't really been in a situation like that, surprisingly. Um, yeah. I'm just kind of, you know, if they go after him and, you know, screw it you know what i mean like i'm i'll try my best you know i'll come running in late you know but like if you want to go after him you know let's go <laughs> i'll be i'll be coming behind <laughs> see i just tell him i just be like yeah i called for that pitch pal you know what i mean <laughs> what are you gonna do about yeah. it yeah what are you gonna do about it yeah. you call for that high you call for that high cheese every every now and then i like some high cheese yeah, yeah. i like push him back, back a, push back yeah, a little you bit push him back you got to push him back it wasn't yeah. get too comfortable you know he you keep hitting dingers, you know. You got to push them back a little bit. You're That's too what I'm saying. That's what I'm you saying. Know? Yeah. You ever charge them out? You ever charge them out on somebody? No, I haven't. No. Just now, I haven't really like gotten that upset. You know, I'm like, screw it. I go to first base. You know. Yeah, it's fun to run out there, man. I'm telling you, I think you should try it. Maybe I'll give it a shot for you. So I need a I need a prediction before we get out of here. I need a prediction. All right. I said fifty. I think you could do fifty dingers this year if you take my advice. How many dingers okay. are you going to hit this year? 50 homers, like, as a total? Okay, yeah. Okay, so, well, first of all, it depends on how many games we play, you know, and if we even play yeah. at all. Yeah. But I think I think, I think, think we cut that in half. We go 25. Well, I think you could do it, man. You heard it here, folks. Guaranteed 25 dingers. Side seal delivered. Kevin, thanks for coming there. on the show, brother. Yeah, Thank man, you we'll, for having uh, me. You got it, man. Anytime. Anytime you want to come on, I'll be here. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the Kit Murphy Podcast. We'll see you next week. Till then, hum that thing in there, baby. I'm Kent Murphy. Dingers.